Hey guys, it's Joey Gaming, and welcome back to the Joey Gaming YouTube channel. Today, we're going to look at some, some very depressing uh, videos, alright? This is really sad, and I just want to share with you guys this awfulness, alright? It's really not that good. Um, if you don't know what's going on, 2020 is at it again with forest fires and stuff. Alright, like I said before, 2020 is reusing assets um, from the Australia forest fire event. So now, now Australia or whatever or whoever is in charge of of 2020 is moving the assets to California in the west coast of the, of the United States. So there are like these massive fires, and they're caused by gender reveal parties. Apparently, yes, if you're wondering, someone did a, a gender reveal party in a forest with a homemade explosive. All right, guys, let's figure out what it is. All right, let's press this button and see what happens. <gasps> Boom! It was a boy because boom because boom has a B in it and boy has a B in it. All right, <laughs> I honestly don't know why. I don't know who is stupid enough to do a gender reveal party in a forest with explosives, but whatever it is, they think it was a cool idea. But it, it, honestly, that was just super dumb. Honestly, I don't know why they did that. But there, I just want to share with these you guys these crazy videos and stuff. All right, right now, I, right now the. Basically, the West Coast is being destroyed right now because of all these forest fires, alright? And it's just really, honestly, really sad, alright? And the whole, entire, uh, the whole entire sky in California is, like, literally growing orange and stuff. So, yeah. So, let's get into the first video. High temperatures and hundreds of thousands of acres of parched land are making things tough for firefighters battling those devastating blazes out west. And there are countless stories of survival emerging. This family was racing from an inferno in Oregon when they realized they were out of gas. Jim Ray on what happened next. Are we gonna be okay? That's the voice of a six-year-old girl in her family car driving through a terrifying wildfire. We're gonna do really good. Suddenly, they run out of gas. It started dwindling pretty quickly, and so we just made the decision. We, I mean, we have to pull over. We're not gonna make it through the through the fires. Yeah. Allison and Tyler Hargett, along with little Lily, were on vacation with friends at a picturesque lake in Oregon when they were ordered to evacuate. Imagine you went on vacation, okay? And suddenly, next, like one hour ago, it was completely fine. The hour, the next hour, you see this massive fire coming over, and your parents think, "Hey, we need to get in the car and get out of here." But you guys, meanwhile, you're speeding through the the forest trying to get out of the fire, and you were trying to evacuate. Meanwhile, then, then your car runs out of gas. That is extremely scary. Oh, oh my gosh, I would hate it. You have to leave your car behind. And that's not good. There's a good chance your car might catch on fire and explode and get destroyed because of the fire. Like, that is not good. And they also might have a boat as well. Honestly, I would hate... Honestly. I honestly feel really bad for all the people in California right now, guys. This is really sad. They got just 20 miles when mom and dad realized they weren't going to make it. They abandoned their car and boat. Thank goodness, friends driving a short distance ahead turned around to pick them up. They didn't hesitate to sacrifice all of their things that were in the back seat to let us, the three of us, in the back. I can feel the heat. Can you feel oh, yeah. the heat? Oh my God, it's so hot. Another family, Melanie. The heat is so intense. You can feel it through the car. That is literally insane. I can't imagine how scary that is. Like you might be cooked alive in this car. Like, I, I, you can only imagine how hot cars are during the summertime when you get in them. Like, you go, you go to Walmart in a hot, sunny day. You go back, and you get in the car, and it's, like, super hot. Oh, gosh, that would suck, all right? I hope those guys had, like, air conditioning on or something. Like, that would, that completely sucks. And also, there's some good friends for basically coming back and helping their friends out to escape his fire. Like, holy crap, guys. Funk, her husband Randall and daughter Lily, also fled the flames in a car. This is making it even worse, sir. Look at how much trees fell down. Oh, terrifying. I'm like panicking. Just listen to their relief when they make it out okay. That was intense. <laughs> the roads yeah. were, were so fiery yeah. that they weren't they became impassable after, shortly after we had gone by. Check out the eerie glow in the downtown state in Oregon. It looks like Mars. KGW-TV reporter Christine Pitawanich is there. 
This right here is downtown Staten. You can see the red hue, the red orange glow in the sky. There's ash that is falling visibly. The smell of smoke is heavy. And wildfires continue to cause havoc in California. Two million acres have already burned. It's really cool to see these forest fires, how they look. They look absolutely amazing, but it's also really scary and pretty sad. Like there's a lot of trees burning down, all right? So that means there's like less trees to produce oxygen for the world. Like it's honestly really sad. You know, Mr. Beast planted 20 million trees. Well, yeah, that doesn't really matter now because we lost 20 million trees. Probably a lot more than 20 million trees, to be honest with you guys, okay? To keep it a buck 50, you'll probably lost more than 20 million trees in that event. Like, this, honestly, that's sad. I don't know why. I don't know why 2020 is so, um, so, um, rough on us this year, but I just don't know why 2020 is like this on us, guys. Sheer terror at a campground as flames surround campers and there's no way out. We are completely trapped. There's fire on all sides, all around us. Nearly 250 campers are trapped. Well, we have no cell phone reception and supposedly there's nobody coming. Jeremy Remington recorded the extraordinary moment. He ushered his family, including his niece and nephew, onto their boat. But the heat and smoke were so intense, he believed all was lost. It was hard to breathe. We couldn't see. And you gotta remember, we've got, we have, um, there's two little kids with this. They're crying. We didn't think we were gonna make it out alive. A satellite map shows the exact moment the fire erupted in Central California. To be honest with you guys, a lake or a pond or a river would probably be the best bet if you're in a forest fire, honestly. You just like stay, like chill in the lake or a river and just stay in there because, you know, water equals fire does not mean equals no fire like honestly like honestly being on a boat is probably the safest thing ever yeah you got all the smoke that will kind of kill you but just keep your head low in the water you should be okay which is pretty sad i can only i can only imagine how they're going and how they're feeling about this whole entire thing and also this is really this is a really good clip i'm not i'm pretty proud of this all right i'm pretty good clip of this in call of duty but yeah then, 11 hours later, when hope was fading, a National Guard helicopter arrived. Yay! Everybody was cheering, we were hugging. It was an amazing moment. First, his niece and nephew were evacuated. A few hours later, the Chinook returned. That's the one Jeremy boarded. Look how packed it was inside. On the ground, these hikers fled for their lives by car. Devin Villarosa says one minute they were hiking, the next they were surrounded by flames. A park ranger ordered them to drive as fast as possible and not to stop no matter what. It's pretty scary. You could definitely feel the heat um, just coming through the car. We were really hoping that our car doesn't malfunction in this high heat. I'm not going to lie. Seeing that helicopter was really cool looking, all right? Like, that was sweet looking. Like, I don't know why the National Guard, I don't know how the National Guard find out found out there was people there. I don't know if they were, like, were searching for people. And they said, hey, there's a lake, and there's, like, lots of people. Let's land over here. I don't know what the exact story, because they said that they had no service. But that's pretty crazy that there was a rescue that happened. I'm so glad that everyone in that area survived. Like, honestly, it's been pretty, that's pretty crazy to have seen that happen. And also, so glad those people in the car survived, too. It's just crazy, honestly. They are harrowing moments as panicked families dove into a freezing lake to save themselves from the flames. I was wrapping my daughter like this and just dunking her in and dunking her out. We just all huddled together in the water or we holding on to the tops of ice chests that, that the guys ripped off um, to try to as a flotation device. Uh, Rebecca Crouch and Cindy Drake and 12 friends and family members were camping in Northern California when the wildfire closed in. We both drove back into camp and we just said, everybody clear out, let's go. Come on, babe, go, 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 babe, go! Go! A convoy drove to Mammoth Pool Reservoir about 10 minutes away. At least 200 people are camping there and everybody's scrambling in their vehicles to go on one road. But when they got to the lake, they found themselves trapped. Flames surrounded them. Embers rained down. 
There was no place to seek shelter but in the water. The guys are. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I thought of forest fires as the most least deadliest uh, disaster because you know it's a fire. Fires don't spread that quickly, and uh, and and if there's a fire, just walk the other direction. But turns out I was wrong, and fires can quickly spread. Not also that you have to. You have to think about the terrain as well like if there's a lot, a lot of fuel the fire may travel faster than you are and you have to go over branches and trees and yeah or there's like a big mountain or hill like honestly i can see forest fires being more deadly it's pretty cool to see that convoy um i would be terrified i was in that if i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna they keep it a buck 50 with you guys i would be ex extremely terrified if, if i was in that convoy because you don't know what's going on like it's like a battle royale type of thing. Like you have all these, you have the fires coming in, okay, and you have like zone moving in. All right, that's what's going on. Like this is like real life Fortnite or real life Warzone or Battlefield or whatever, where the where the walls are closing in and you're fighting each other off. That'd be that's that's just that's just crazy, guys. Like honestly, and like I said before, the best place you can chill during a fire, like in a forest fire is probably like a lake or a river because you know there's water there and, and water and fire can't spread through water unless there's like gasoline or oil in there but pretty terrifying stuff guys just like get in the water get in the water get in the water the water was was cold and we were all shivering it was a firestorm and there's no way other than that to describe it. Their ordeal lasted 10 long hours until National Guard helicopters came to their rescue. Everybody was cheering and yelling and, and flashing lights to get their attention and because we didn't know if they knew we were there or not. Those pilots, yeah. they, they really did risk their life um, for us. Wildfires continue to consume whole communities across California, Oregon, and Washington. This is the Golden Gate Bridge in the middle of the day, the sky glowing orange. As the drone rises higher, the city of Oakland actually disappears. The fires are making the air unbreathable and millions have been warned to stay indoors. I've never seen anything like that before. Cron TV meteorologist John Schrabel. As much as possible, stay inside, really for the rest of the week. Avoid exposure to this harmful air. If you have AC, make sure to set it to recirculate. You don't want that bad air getting inside. It really does look like an apocalypse, to keep it real with you guys. Like, it looks like Mars. Like, it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. But no, this is real, guys. I can't believe 2020 is real. Like we have, we had pandemics. We had like riots and civil unrest. We have f forest fires. What's next? Massive earthquakes and stuff exploding everywhere. We're going to have like an alien invasion, which is the U.S. did confirm aliens did exist. But <sighs> yes, yeah, I just wish this whole entire year would be over. Honestly. Like, I, honestly, this year's been good for me for YouTube-wise, but everything else, has been, it's been awful. I just really want this whole entire year, I just really want this year to be over with, right? I, I just want, yeah, but anyways, guys, like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, all that great stuff. And just to let you guys know what's going on in my life. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. See ya, peace.